Hi, today we are going to look at one specific type of speed problem which is meeting up where as you can see from the figure shown here people or vehicles they are traveling in opposite direction what happens when people are traveling in opposite directions in respective to speed let's take a problem a car travels from town A to town B at 80 kilometers per hour so we have two towns town A and town B of a certain distance apart and we have a car which travels at 80 kilometers per hour from town A to town B and we have a lorry that travels from town B to town A at 40 kilometers per hour and both of them start at 8 a.m. So now the time is 8 a.m. After one hour, where would they be? So at 9 a.m., the car would have traveled 80 kilometers because the speed is 80 kilometers per hour, meaning for one hour, the car will travel 80 kilometers. Similarly, the lorry would travel 40 kilometers in the same one hour because both of them are starting at the same time. So now if you look at it, out of the total distance between town A and town B, in one hour, the distance covered is 80 kilometers here plus 40 kilometers so the total distance covered is 120 kilometers in one hour which also brings us to effective speed effective speed we are not individually talking about the speed of the car and the speed of the lorry but from the perspective of the total distance covered in one hour the effective speed is 80 kilometers per hour plus 40 kilometers per hour so that is equal to 120 kilometers per hour so when objects are traveling in opposite direction the speed the effective speed is found by adding the individual speeds together to get the effective speed So the effective speed is given by 80 kilometers per hour plus 40 kilometers per hour which is equal to 120 kilometers per hour. When objects are traveling in opposite direction, the effective speed is found by adding the individual speeds of the two objects to get the effective speed. Now, if you look at it here, Though the car travels at 80 kilometers per hour, in one hour it has covered 80 kilometers, and the, ta and the lorry has covered 40 kilometers in the same one hour. So, in that same one hour, meaning from 8 to 9 a.m., the total distance covered between town A and town B is 120 kilometers, and that's the reason why we say the effective speed is 120 kilometers. Now let's take another question which is a similar question. Town A is 360 kilometers from town B. A car travels from town A to town B at 80 kilometers per hour. A lorry travels from town B to town A at 40 kilometers per hour. And both of them start at 9 a.m. We are just going to uh, go step by step and understand what's happening in either of the cases. So we have town A and town B separated by a distance of 360 kilometers and now the time is 8 a.m. So we have a car and a lorry. The car is traveling at 80 kilometers per hour whereas the lorry is traveling at 40 kilometers per hour. Now after one hour what happens? It's the time is 9 a.m. 
the car would have moved 80 kilometers and the truck has covered 40 kilometers. Now again after another one hour. Now the time is 10 a.m. By this one hour the car would have traveled another 80 kilometers and the truck would have traveled another 40 kilometers. So one hour later. Time now is 11 a.m. The car would have covered another 80 kilometers and the lorry would have covered another 40 kilometers. So what has happened actually? We started at 8 a.m. and they both met at 11 a.m. So the time taken is three hours. The total distance of course is 360 kilometers as shown here. Time taken for the car and the lorry to meet is three hours. How did we find that? This is just to show you or illustrate how actually we calculate. Meaning, when the car traveled from here 80 kilometers, the truck traveled 40 kilometers. So, total of 120 kilometers per hour. So, you have three sets here. 80 and 40, 120, 80 and 40, 120 and this 80 and 40 is another 120. So in 3 hours they are able to cover 360 kilometers. Now we will actually see how to solve the problem of the time when the car and the lorry will meet. Town A is 360 kilometers from Town B, the same. A car travels from Town A to Town B at 80 kilometers per hour. So the distance is 360 kilometers. And now, effective speed. What we see here is the effective speed is because they are traveling in opposite directions, the sum of the individual speeds. The speed of the car is 80 kilometers per hour and the speed of the lorry is 40 kilometers per hour so when you add them we get 120 kilometers per hour and time taken for the car and the lorry to meet how long will they take to meet so for that we take the total distance which is 360 kilometers divided by the effective speed which is 120 kilometers per hour and that will give us three hours which is the answer that is, the car and the lorry will meet after 3 hours. So if it is 9 a.m., they are starting at 9 a.m., so they will meet after 3 hours, which is 10, 11, 12. So they will be meeting at 12 p.m.